About a year ago, a scene like this in Bay de Verde was unthinkable. Thousands of farmed Atlantic salmon, freshly plucked from sea cages in Placentia Bay, moving along a brand new $16 million processing line. Fish nearly as long as a baseball bat, as heavy as a sack of flour. This is all the result of a partnership between Norway's aquaculture giant, Grieg Seafood, Per Grieg, the company's chairman seen here on the right, and Quinlan Brothers, with President Robin Quinlan on the left. This new line was built in short order, and for the past six weeks, workers have processed about 100 tons of salmon here each day. The work has kept two shifts of 50 people each very busy. The site is a blend of international workers from Thailand, Mexico and the Philippines, and local workers like Stephanie Brewer. I'm kind of proud, you know, to say that I'm from Beatty Bird. We're processing this here in our community, and I think it's wonderful. Crab is king in Bay de Verde, but it's seasonal, spring and summer. The salmon harvest happens in the fall and early winter, making this plant a true year-round operation, a rarity in this province. It means economic stability for workers like this and hope for community leaders. Hopefully uh, this in some a small way will uh, revitalize and give uh, small rural communities such as us here in Bay de Verde an opportunity to redefine and reinvent ourselves. We've never had this much activity in Beta Verde at this time of year. Usually we're winding down, but now we're winding up. It all went up in smoke seven years ago, but the Quinlans quickly rebuilt. Left one third of the new plant empty, ready for future development. Grieg, meanwhile, has been slowly growing its operations. A hatchery and smolt operation in Marystown, sea cages in Placentia Bay, investing more than 200 million so far. But they needed a partner to process and package all that fish. The Quinlans stepped up, and by early winter, about 5,000 tons of salmon, the first generation of fish grown in Placentia Bay, will have passed through this plant. This is the final product right here. Each of these fish, about 10 to 12 pounds, packaged in ice, all ready for a hungry market. The Quinlan and Grieg teams showed off their partnership this week. Fish that are healthy, good growth, no lice, an experiment in using sterile fish that has paid off. All destined for a fast growing North American market that right now is dominated by products from Norway, Chile and Scotland. The only one that can provide the North American market with locally sourced fish is Canada. That's why we are here. There's government money here, six million from the Atlantic Fisheries Fund. Robin Quinlan says inflation and interest rates are making it harder to invest and expand. All this may not have been possible without government help, he says. I think it's a critical co component and it was, I will say to you, for me, a critical component to be able to make the decision to be able to make this investment for, for Quinlan Brothers. Meanwhile, Grieg has big plans for future growth in Marystown and Placentia Bay, but it's struggling to come up with the cash to make it happen. So now it's looking for partners. In Newfoundland, we see great potential for more volume. Whatever happens, it appears this plant will be busy for many years to come. Terry Roberts, CBC News, Bay de Verde.